why there is a need to have a smart university foundation. We right now live in a world of more than 28,000 universities. However, if we look at the ranking, the ranking is only ranking 1,000 universities. Most of the universities' voices are not actually heard in the global debate about the future of higher education. This is not a usual situation. If you look at any other industry, if you look at any other situation in the world, you cannot control a whole population of an industry by only 4% of its population. So there is a need for the voices of all the universities to be heard, not only the big ones, not only the most respected ones, because all the universities are actually responsible for producing the next generation for this world. We cannot just assume that a big university would understand the situation of a small university. One size does not fit all. Another issue that is important for the future of foundation is that the representation. Most of the international organization that works in the area of higher education focus only on the professors, only the academic people. But the university is not only about the academic people. You can imagine that most of the international organizations about, about universities do not have student representations, do not have corporate representations, do not have NGO representation, do not have government official in, you know, representation. When we talk about the university, all of these are very significant and very important stakeholders. Without the student, there is no reason for the university to exist in the first place. So imagine that all the international organizations focusing on the future of higher education globally are not taking into consideration the student input, the customer, if we can say that. Higher education also is now taken by the issue of ranking. But I have to tell you that in reality, ranking is not ranking. Ranking is swayed. It's actually pushing for certain things over others. A small university in a rural area in a, one of the countries of the world will not make it at all to the, smart, to, to, to the ranking of today because the rank of, ranking of today in reality favors English language websites, English language literature over any other language. That's one. It also favors research-oriented universities over teaching orienting universities. And by the way, if, like my friend said, we have 28,000 universities in the world, the overwhelming majority of those 28,000 universities are teaching oriented, not research oriented. And the ranking doesn't give enough weight to this. The ranking does not give enough weight to the influence of the university over the society that is in it. I remember, it was eight months ago, I was traveling to Malaysia and I was invited by a university in a rural area, very north side of Malaysia. We drove nine hours to get to that university. But I can tell you something. This university in its surrounding was the beacon of light, was everything in this city and this, you know, province. The university was the place of knowledge, the place of activities, the place of uh, ideas, the place of everything. And it doesn't show on the ranking, and it will never show on the ranking. 
but that university was extremely significant in that place. If you take that university out, a whole province would not have a light of knowledge. How come this cannot show in a ranking system? Why? There is a need to change this. There is a need to make sure that all the voices are heard. All the ideas are included. This is the life we live in nowadays. The influence of society on university and the influence of university on society. These are very important issues that currently are not addressed.